Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. Oftentimes, you may need to create and apply multiple filters in order to display the data that you want. You can apply multiple filters while using the Select Expert dialog box. After creating the first filtering criteria that you wish to apply, All you have to do is click the New tab at the top of the Select Expert dialog box, or click the New button at the right side of the dialog box. This will launch the Choose Field dialog box again, where you can select the field by which you would like to create the second filter from the list displayed, and then click OK. And this creates a new tab in the Select Expert dialog box with the name of the new field you just selected. On this tab, simply select the desired comparison operator and enter the necessary criteria in the drop down to the right. You can continue this process adding all of the various filters needed to display the correct records in the report. Also notice that you can click back onto the various other tabs displayed to edit comparison operators used and values entered if needed. Now, when you enter multiple filters, the records that will be used in the report are the records that match all of the filtering criteria specified. For example, if you created a filter on a state field for a record that was exactly equal to Michigan, and then created a second filter on an amount sold field for any record that was greater than 1,000, the records returned for the report would be any record where the state was equal to Michigan and the amount sold was greater than 1,000. Or here in our example, where the salary is greater than or equal to 30,000 and the position is equal to sales representatives. We will only see people who are sales representatives who have a salary greater than or equal to $30,000. In the next section we're going to look at how we can also set up OR conditions between multiple criteria specified in the Select Expert. Notice that if you did create a new criteria for a field and then wish to remove it, you can simply click on the tab of the field that has the filter you wish to remove to select it first, and then click the delete button at the right side of the Select Expert dialog box. When you're done making your changes, click OK, and then you can preview the report to see any changes. So notice we are only seeing sales representatives who make more or exactly equal to $30,000 a year. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.